Shabbat service. I want to welcome everybody who's here with us in a sanctuary. I want to welcome everybody that's joining us at home. If you and, wave at the camera back there, you can wave at everyone at home. <laughs> See the camera and, back there? Uh, <laughs> so for everybody watching us online, we're not going to be sharing slides through Zoom this evening, but for everybody online and everybody here in the sanctuary, all of the uh, words and our prayers and our songs and everything are going to be up on the screen in front of us. And the canter went a little nuts. I did. I, on it's true. our pre-Hanukkah theme service. So watch closely from the very first slide, and you tell me a little bit later on what the continuing theme is. <laughs> Well, it's a very special word. It's a word about a food that we get to eat at Hanukkah time because it's fried in oil. And the name of that food is, can you say it with me? Suf gani oat. Suf gani oat. Delicious, delicious donuts. And I have a little song I'm going to teach you. And we're going to do it again at the end. So, so Rabbi, if you would change the slide there. That's awesome. Here's how the song goes. Soup, gani out, gonna, gonna make some soup, gani out, so yummy in the middle, soup, gani out, gonna, gonna make some soup, gani, gani out, can you try that with me? Soup, gani out, gonna, gonna make some soup, gani out, so yummy in the middle, soup, gani out, gonna, gonna make some soup, gani, gani out, gani, gani out. Gani gani yo. So during our service, this is, you have to be a really good counter for this. The, the sufgani yo you saw already don't count. But from now on, when you see on the screen our slides for the service tonight, if you see a sufgani ya, if you see a donut, start counting. That's the challenge tonight. How many donuts do we have in the whole service? Okay? So it's a lot. I'm and just going to tell you, I didn't go, we go a crazy. any further. I have to share with you. I have a tragic Sufgania story. Oh. Many, many, many years ago, when I was much younger and I was studying in Jerusalem in the weeks before Hanukkah, right around this time, on all the different street corners, all of these little Sufgania vendors pop up. And they're making these wonderful, they smell so good. And, they're boiling in the hot oil, and they come out hot and fresh and steaming, and I just had to have one. And I can tell you what was in the middle of that soup, I remember it's like 40 years later, it was a custard-filled soup, and I took it, and it smelled so good, and I bit into it, and boiling hot custard shot into uh, my mouth, hot, 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 burning, and to this day, I oh, no. the tragic the wound of the scar, Sufganiya. my Sufganiya scar. That is my tragic Sufganiya story. We're going to begin our service this evening as we always do on Friday night without the Katanero, the lighting of the Shabbat candles. And it is my absolute pleasure to invite all the members of the Goodman Burger family to come Woo! forward and share with us. In and the I room. spy a couple of donuts there. So that's your first count two donuts so far. Are you counting? All right, James, where's James? I saw him come in. There you go, James. That's, we're counting Sufgania today on the screen. That's the easiest way to get up here. Have somebody carry you. Shabbat Shalom, Goodman Burgers. <laughs> so if you could read these words first. As we light the Shabbat candles, we begin a very special time, a time for relaxing and cuddles, a time to celebrate the love of family. A time to enjoy all the fun being outdoors in our amazing world. And if you can use that candle to light those candles. Ooh, you better help, Rabbi. Initiation to the congregation <laughs> and the blessings Hebrew and then English. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to you all. We're going to join our voices together. Thank you. Did you notice there was a donut on that slide? I'm not going to say anymore. There's other donuts. Hine Macho, Omanaim, Shevenachim, Gam Yachad. Hine Macho, Omanaim, Shevenachim, Gam Yachad. How good it is. How good it is. How sweet it is. How sweet it is. To, to be together, together on this day. How good it is. How good it is. How sweet it is. How sweet it is. To be together on this day. He name a soul. Oh, Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Hey Shabbat 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 Shalom Since we're starting to think about Hanukkah coming in the darkness of this time of year when we can make the lights of Hanukkah, our festival of light. We're going to sing L'chad Odi, our Shabbat song, but the melody, I wonder if you can figure out what the melody is. It's something that you might sing at Hanukkah time. Let's see if you can figure it out. I'm getting it. Let's see I'm getting if you can it. figure it out. Lehadodi Likrat Kala Peneshabad Nikabilla Shamor Besahor Bedibohad Ishmianu El Hameuhad Adonai Had Shemohad Le Shamuti Ferret Veli he <laughs> Allah nidla le khatoti li krat kala pene shabat me kabela if you're able we rise and we turn to face the door imagine the shabbat queen coming right in among us Oi ve shalom ateret ba Allah gam basim kha o vet so khola to khamuneam segula boi kha Allah boi kha Allah le kha dahti did anyone recognize that song from Hanukkah? What song is it? Oh, somebody has one. A dreidel. What is it? Dreidel, dreidel. <laughs> well exactly. Good listening. 
Okay, we're going to just asked you to sit down and now I'm going to ask you to stand up again if you're able and we're going to begin our service now with the bar clue. Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? Baruch Adonai Let's join together in the Hebrew Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bidvaro Ma'ari Varavim Bahokma Poteach Sha'arim Uvitbuna Mishanei Itim Umachalif Et Tazmanim Musaderet Kochavim Bamish Mirotehem Barakia Kitsono Ore Yom Valaila Rolel Or Mipene Hoshe Bahoshech Mipene Or Mavir Yom Mevi Laila Mavdil Ben Yom Uvein Laila Adonai Tsuba Ot Shemo Achai Vikayam Tamid Yim Loch Alenu Leolam Va Ed Baruch Ata Adonai Hamavi Aravim, Tanu limadita Baruch ata Adonai O heva moho Yisrael Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Please be seated. Hadivarim ha ele, Asher anochi metzavecha, Hayom alevavecha. This is a repeat after me song. This is a repeat after me song. Ve'ahavta, ve'ahavta, love our God, love our God. Ve'ahavta, ve'ahavta, pass it on, pass it on. Love with all your heart and love with all your soul, love with all your mind, each and every day. Ve'ahavta, ve'ahavta, love our God, love our God. Ve'ahavta, ve'ahavta, pass it on, pass it on. Teach it to your kids, teach them how to live. 
teach them in your home and on your way. Ve'ahavta, ve'ahavta. Love our God, love our God. Ve'ahavta, ve'ahavta. Pass it on, pass, pass it, it on. on. Let's read together in the English. In a single, single moment, moment everything, everything changed. changed. We thought we were trapped, and, and suddenly, suddenly we are free. Free, free to we walk a new path, free to hold hands and make a friend, friend. Free, free to, to sing our thanks to the source of it all. Ya la la, ya la 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 la, ya la la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 ya la ya la la. Yeah, la, 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 la. Are you ready for this freedom song? Let's do it together. Mi chamo chava eli madonai mi chamo chane dar bakodesh norat hilot osefele norat hilot osefele adonai imlo. Le'olam va'ed Adonai lo Le'olam va'ed When it's dark at night, we think about the protection that we have in our warm homes and our families and with God watching over all of us. That's what Hashki Venu is about. Hashki Venu Adonai Eloheinu Leshalom Vehamideinu Shomreinu Lechaim Spread the shelter of your peace over us Guide us in wisdom, compassion, and trust. Hashki benu Adonai, Eloheinu l'shalom, v'chamideinu shomreinu lechai. Like a bass song. Lechaim. For those of you that sing really low, Lechaim. Wouldn't be Shabbat without singing Veshamru, so let's dig into this one. Veshamru ben Yisrael. Hashabat shodin slaso et hashabat le doro tamberi tolam be shamro vene Israel et hashabat laso et hashabat le doro tamberi olam. And again, if you are able, we invite you to please rise as we continue with the tefillah. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Velohe avoteinu ve'imoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sara Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Leah Ha el ha gadol ha gibor ve ha el el yom gom el ha sadim tovim ve kone ha kol 
Bezocher hast de avot ve imachot, ume vigel alif ne veneham, le maan shemo be ahava. Melech ozer umoshia umagain, baruch ata adonai, magain avraham v'ezrat sarah. Ata gibor leolam adonai, Mechaye ha kol atarav lechoshia, Mashiv haruach humorid hagashem. Mechalkel chayim bechesed, Mechaye ha kol berachamim rabim, Zomech noflin verofe cholim, Umatir asurim. O mekaye memunato li shene afar mi chamo chaba al gevurot o mi domelach melech me mi tu mekaye o matzmi ak Yeshua ni amanat ala hachayot hakol. Baruch atah Adonai mechayei hakol. Atah kadosh v'shim hakadosh u'kdoshim b'chol yom yechalu hasela. Baruch atah Adonai hakel hakadosh. Please be seated. Let's join together in this reading. Peace begins with saying sorry. Peace begins with not hurting others. Peace begins with honesty and trust. Peace begins with showing cooperation and respect. Peace begins with me. <laughs> Odia vo shalom aleinu ve'akulam. Odia vo shalom aleinu. Odia vo shalom aleinu. Odia vo shalom aleinu ve'akulam. Shalom aleinu ve'akol ha'olam. Shalom, shalom, salam. Salam, salam. O shalom aleinu. O Yavos shalom aleinu. O Yavos shalom aleinu ve'al kulam. Let's take a few moments now for some silent personal prayer. This is a repeat after me song. This is a repeat after me song. Oh, say shalom. Oh, say shalom. Be im Roma. Be im Roma. Who ya ase shalom. Who ya ase shalom. Aleinu. Aleinu. Israel, they all call Israel, they imru, they imru, they imru, they imru, amen, amen. 
Has Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. And in case you're counting, this is the eighth day of the month of Kislev, so that means it's just 17 days till Hanukkah. I can tell there's a lot of excitement. <laughs> Have you got all your Hanukkah shopping done? If you come on Sunday, our Deborah gift shop's going to be open, and they got all kinds of great stuff for Hanukkah. We actually bought a really, really beautiful royal blue stuffed toy for our dog that says Happy Hanukkah. Process. Dog was very impatient, so she's got the toy already. So this morning, the cantor comes to me and says, do you know any good stories about Sufganiyot? And I said, why? She said, you'll see. And I said, well, I've got lots of great stories about Lutkas. In fact, I think every year I tell a story about Lutkas. But I didn't think of any Sufganiyot stories. So then all of a sudden I had to do like major research into Sufganiyot. And I learned some fascinating things about Sufganiyot that I never knew before. This is the day I've had. Everybody always thinks, well, it's Hanukkah, the miracle of the oil. So we're going to remember that by eating all of this food like latkes and sufganiyot that are cooked in lots of oil. And that's the connection. That makes perfect sense. But I discovered that sufganiyot actually go back way before the Hanukkah story. Did you know that? Long before there were miracles and oils and candles lighting and everything out, there were Sufganiyot in the world. And you know how early the first Sufganiyot appeared in the Torah? Right from the moment of creation. When God created human beings in the Garden of Eden, and Adam and Eve, and then Adam and Eve ate not a sufganiya, but they ate the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and that was the one thing God said you couldn't do. And so they got kicked out of the Garden of Eden. They got kicked out of paradise. And Adam and Eve were so upset, so sad, so depressed. They had ruined everything. And even though... They did what they weren't supposed to do. God had compassion upon them. And so God wanted to make them happy. And so God fed them sufganiyot. How do we know that? Think about what the word sufganiyot means. Sufganiya, singular. They each got one. Sof. Gan, ya, the end of God's garden. That's what the word means. Well, actually, it means puffy dough. But <laughs> the rabbis were very creative, and they said, "Suf gan ya, gan ya, God's garden, sof, the end of God's garden." So that's what God fed to Adam and Eve after they left the garden. But that's not the only story I learned today. So I learned a story about Moisha. Moisha loved Sufganiyot more than anything else in the world. All Moisha ever wanted to eat was Sufganiyot. And in fact, he considered himself something of a Sufganiya connoisseur. Moisha had traveled all over the world to all the places that had the best Sufganiyot and he tried them all, every possible flavor, every possible place. He had eaten those sufganiyot. And the only place that Moshe had never gone to try the sufganiyot was in Israel. And every place he went, they said, well, you know, our sufganiyot are probably the best in the world. But I hear the ones in Israel are even better. So finally, one year, Moshe decides this is the year 
And he's going to go and he's going to spend Hanukkah in Israel and taste all the possible soup ganiot he could in Israel. So he packs his bag and he gets his carry-on and he goes and he gets on the plane and he flies to Israel and he had arranged a tour guide to take him on a Sufganiya tour of the entire state of Israel. But he gets to the airport in Tel Aviv and he gets his bags off the conveyor belt and he looks at his watch and realizes that his tour guide's not gonna come for him for probably at least another hour. So what should I do? Well, you know what? Maybe I'll, I'll get an Israeli newspaper, find out what the news is, or maybe I'll get something to eat while I'm waiting for my tour guide. And he goes to the food court. They have a very nice food court at the airport in Israel. And he sees that there's actually a booth in the food court selling Sufganiyot. He just landed in Israel. He hasn't even left the airport yet. And there's Sufganiyot. And he goes up and he sees the sign. Five Sufganiyot for a dollar. Oh my, so not only do they have soup going on, and they, they smell amazing, but, but, but they're so inexpensive. This is great. And so he orders five soup out, and he pays the person behind the counter, and he takes his suitcases, and he takes his bag, and he takes his bag of soup out, and he goes and he finds a table, and he sits down, and he gets the newspaper out that he bought, and he opens it up, and he starts reading the paper. And just as he picks up the paper, a strange little man with a long beard and very dusty, tattered clothes and a big hat that was kind of drooping on each side sits down at the table across from him. And he just sort of looks up and acknowledges him, shakes his head, and he goes back to his newspaper. And then all of a sudden, he notices from the side of the newspaper that this strange little man had just put his hand into the bag and taken out one of the sufganiot and he starts eating it. And he looks up and he's, he's shocked. He can't say a word. You know, what chutzpah that this guy is eating my sufganiot. But he decides, okay, I'm not going to make a big deal, but, you know, I'm going to eat one, two, to make sure he doesn't take them all. So he reaches into the bag and he takes out of Sufganiya. He takes a big bite out of it. And, oh, that was such a delicious Sufganiya. So he's eating his Sufganiya and he's reading his newspaper. And then he notices again that the guy reaches in and he takes another Sufganiya and just casually starts eating it. Well, now he's a little bit less shocked and he's getting a little bit more angry. What does this guy think he's doing eating my sufganiyot? So he says, he just kind of looks at the guy with angry eyes and he reaches into the bag and he takes another one and takes a great big bite out of it and goes back to reading his newspaper. And then he sees the man stand up, get his things together, and then he reaches into the bag and he takes the last Sufganiya. And at this point, Moisha is just outraged. And he puts his paper down. And he looks at the guy with a really stern, angry expression. And the strange little man sees the look in his eyes, sees the expression on his face, sees that he's clearly unhappy. And so he takes that last Sufganiya, he breaks it in half. He hands half to Moisha, he puts the other half in his mouth, and he just walks away. Moisha's like, what is it? This is what everybody's like in Israel. They just help themselves to your soup And then he looks at his watch and he realizes that it's time for his tour guide to meet him outside. So he picks up his paper and he picks up his coat and he picks up his bag. And then he notices underneath, or next to his bag, underneath his coat, is his bag of Sufganiyo. <laughs> and he realizes it wasn't the strange little man that was eating his Sufganiyo, but 
but he was eating his sukhanya. And then he realized, while he was getting all upset and all angry, that the strange little man who knew all along what was going on not only remained calm and kind, but in fact, before he left, he even shared that final sukhanya. And then he said to himself, everybody was right. In Israel, they have the best sukhaniot in the world, but in Israel, they also have some of the nicest people in the world. And he was inspired from that moment on, wherever he went in the world to get sukhaniot, he always made sure that he shared his sukhaniot with everybody who was around. So, 17 days from now, it's not too late to wish everybody a happy, happy Hanukkah. Make sure you get your fill of your sukkaniya. Thank you, James. <laughs> that was happy a great story, Hanukkah. Rabbi. Thank you so much. Um, well, we've been counting this evening. We've been counting sukkaniyot, and I'm not sure what number you have. Don't tell me yet, because there's more to come. This is the distraction slide. We're going to sing, we're going to count, but not in English. Anybody can count in English, not in Hebrew. Probably you, some of you can count in Hebrew. We're going to count tonight in Spanish. And what we're counting is the number of candles that we light on our menorah. Hanukkah linda sta aquí. Ocho candelas para mí. Hanukkah linda sta aquí. Ocho candelas para mí. Are you ready to count in Spanish? Candelica is how you say little candles. You ready? Una candelicas, dos candelicas, tres candelicas, cuatro candelicas, cinco candelicas, seis candelicas, siete candelicas. Ocho candelas para mí. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> Muchas fiesta voy a hacer con alegría y placer. Muchas fiestas voy a hacer con alegría y placer. Are you ready to count one more time? In Spanish. Una candelica, dos candelicas. Tres candelicas, cuatro candelicas, cinco candelicas, seis candelicas, siete candelicas, ocho candelas para mí. Good counting in Spanish. If you're able, please rise as we conclude our service now with the Elenu. Alenu le shabeak la don ha kol, la teit gedu la li yotzeh bereshit. Shelo asanu kegoi aratzot, lelo hosomanu kamishpachot ha'adama. Shelo sam chelkenu kaham, lego haralenu kechol hamonam. Va'anachnu korarim, u'mishtachavim u'modim. Lifne melech malchei hamlachim hakadosh baruchu v'neemar v'haya Adonai la melech al kol haaretz b'yom ha'hu b'yom ha'hu iye Adonai echad. Ushamo, 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 Echad. Our thoughts turn now to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to all of humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss of life and death. This time we remember Doug Byrne, who passed away during last month during Shloshim, and to the mourners who are worshiping with us here this evening, we say to you the traditional words of consolation. 
May God comfort you amongst all the mourners of Zion and Jerusalem. And at this time, we also remember those whose yard site occurred during this past week. Abraham Newman, Annie Pearlstein, Bella Goldhar, Brian Cousin, Ellen Hoffman, Amelia Crouch, Evelyn Ross, Harold Levy, Carrie Michaels, Hilda Levy, Joseph Finkelman, Lily Schwartz, Linda Solomon Todd, Manuel Fine, Mark Nagler, Max Ross, May Baskin, Nikki Sole, Mildred Kaplan, Murray Halperin, Ronald Bloom, Sadie Kellner, and Samuel Eisenberg. May the memories of the righteous be for all of us as an abiding blessing as we remember them and we praise God with the words of the Kadesh Atom, the mourner's Kadesh. Yikidal v'yit kadash shamei rabah, v'yal ma' divrach yiruteh v'yamlich malchuteh, v'chai achon v'yom echon, v'chai d'chol beit Yisrael, v'agalah v'zman kari v'imru, amen. Yehei shmei rabah m'varach v'alam o'mei o'maya, yitvarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh, Yitadar v'tale v'talal shmei d'kudisha v'rechu, Le'ela mikol berchata v'shirata, tushpachata v'nechamata, damiran de'alma v'imru, amen. Yehei shalom o'raba min shemaya, v'chaim aleinu v'yokol Yisrael v'imru, amen. Vose shalom v'imru, amen. Vose shalom aleinu v'yokol Yisrael v'imru, amen. May the source of peace and peace to all those who mourn and comfort to all those who are bereaved among us. We say together. Amen. Amen. Please be seated, and we welcome Mr. Roy Paulington to the Bema to share with us some announcements. Announcements, <coughs> announcements, announcements. Shabbat Shalom. Tomorrow morning, our celebration of Shabbat continues with Shabbat morning songs and prayers downstairs in our chapel with Cantor Baruch at 10.30 a.m. and talking Torah with Rabbi Cohen beginning at 11 a.m. in the library. Everyone is welcome to join us in person as well as online details about how to register for these and all of our services and programs can be found as always on our temple website. We are so pleased to announce the return of in-person breakfast club, which will continue this Sunday, December 4th. Join us for a delicious breakfast at 1015 for only $15. And the presentation will begin at 11 a.m. Our presenter this Sunday will be artist and writer Ishai Pio. The presentations of these fall series will all focus on the arts. And please note that the Deborah Sisterhood gift shop will be opened following Breakfast Club for all of your Hanukkah needs. The fourth annual Temple Art Show will be taking place on Sunday, December 11, a week from this Sunday, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the Frank Auditorium. The show will feature a dozen Jewish artists with their paintings, photography, pottery, jewelry, and more. There will be artwork on display from the temple's own religious school students, from the Kahila Day School, and by residents of Shalom Village. There is no charge to enter, so come out and support our artists just in time for your Hanukkah shopping. As an added bonus, the Canadian Orpheus Male Choir will be putting on a full concert in the sanctuary that same afternoon. Tickets are available at the door for $25. Make it a triple that day by attending Breakfast Club, the art show, and then take in the concert. And thank you to the Deborah Sisterhood for sponsoring this evening's Oneg Shabbat and for Bill and Fortunate, Fortune A. Sugar for pre preparing it. Thank you to the Goodman uh, Lindbergh family for participating in this evening's service. 
Thank you to Norm Eby for managing our streaming equipment and Donna Bidwell and Steve Smith for serving as our Zoom hosts. Your efforts are all greatly appreciated. And remember, if you are marking a significant occasion or want to remember or honor someone special, please consider sponsoring an Oneg Shabbat. Call the temple office for details. Take care, stay healthy. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Roy. Um, oh, I just got given the hand. You just got given the hand. Um, so there's even more happening on just Sunday, December 11th than you heard, especially relevant for this family Shabbat tonight, is there are family activities, a movie and crafts. So if you want to come to the, um, to the art show, bring your children and there'll be some wonderful activities. What time is that starting, Dorian? Wonderful. So from, I already forgot, one to four. <laughs> so come to the art show. Let your kids enjoy some, some crafts and some time together, a movie, and you can browse the art show and hear some beautiful music. And too. because I hear rumor that Hanukkah is actually coming soon, <gasps> no. uh, consult your This Week in Temple email newsletter or the website. We have a huge slate of all kinds of different Hanukkah activities happening throughout the eight days of Hanukkah. Uh, for families, for adults, for kids, for everybody. There's going to be lots of celebrations uh, for Hanukkah. Do you have a question? <laughs> I'm never finished. I'm a hand. rabbi. So. <laughs> Right, I just oh. put that on our Facebook members. Uh, um, if you're, if you like to fry things, and you have a hazmat suit, so your clothes <laughs> don't get all oily smelling, we would. I would love to hear from you. Come in. We'll peel potatoes together. We'll mix it up. We'll fry them. And I don't know. It depends on the people that 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 want to volunteer when they can make it. So, so then, and yes. And <laughs> finally, if you're staying and joining us for oh, yes. Shabbat dinner. Right after we do Motsi here, please make your way up to our Frank Auditorium. Get yourself seated. Uh, there's Hala on the table up there. Uh, we're going to do Motsi one more time when we get up there, and then we will begin the dinner. So we hope you will have registered and will join us for Shabbat dinner. Please rise for the Kiddush. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri HaGafen. Lechayam. Thank you to Rhonda Dahan for baking us delicious challah tonight. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, HaMotzi Lechem MiHaAretz, Amen. I want to welcome the members of the Temple and Shalom Border who are all here. Our, our President, Marla Frank Davis, our Yay. Vice President, Judy Levine, our Woo. Secretary, <coughs> Bill Sugar, Eitan Ram, Supa Woo, Sao. So many. Woo, big Let night. them know how much you appreciate all the hard work they do. And yesterday was Marla's birthday, so wish her happy birthday. Happy birthday. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. You. Please join us. Happy up birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marla. Happy birthday to you. You'll see on the screen up here how many Sufganiyot there were to count. Did you get close to that number? <laughs> Went away. Woo. Soup. Gani out, gonna, gonna make some soup. Gani out, so yummy in the middle soup. Gani out, gonna, gonna make some soup. Gani, gani out, gani, gani out, gani, gani out.